Hold on. You got fries in your plate. You're a potato who eats potatoes? That's kind of gross if you think about it. <laughs> this guy's some kind of cannibal. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. That's enough, Simon. So why did your parents throw you out, huh? They didn't want you around anymore? <laughs> Thrown away? <laughs> and now he's here. Stop it, Simon. Make me be. Hey, you guys, I was just doing the fork thing again. Why don't you got bandages on your face? Because I had a headache. But Rosie made it better. Stop banging that fork on your stupid plate. I'm gonna find out why you're here. I always do. Welcome to Kermit Uncut. There's a brilliant new animation in cinemas at the moment called My Life as a Courgette. It was nominated at the Oscars for the Best Animated Feature category under the American title My Life as a Zucchini. Zucchini means courgette in America. And it's available here in two different versions. You can either see it with French language and English subtitles or in an English dub. I've seen both of them. They're both really brilliant. And I wrote a glowing review of it for a newspaper that I write for. And somebody said, well, you know, of course, that it's a remake. I said, what do you mean it's a remake? I mean, I know it's based on a, on a book, My Life is a Courgette by Gilles Parry. They said, no, there is a version of it that's been filmed before. And I looked this up. Turns out, in 2008, there was a live action film called uh, C'est mieux la vie qu'on en est grande, which was a TV movie based on the same source. And I wondered about whether that actually makes this a remake. I mean, this is a feature film. That was a television movie. Although, actually, the TV movie was longer than the feature film, which brilliantly is only just over an hour long. And I started thinking about, well, if you make a version of something that's a different source, and then you make another version, is it always a remake? For example, in cinemas today, we have the opening of My Cousin Rachel, which is based on this novel by Daphne du Maurier, and I'm a huge Daphne du Maurier fan, as indeed are many filmmakers. In fact, My Cousin Rachel was made in 1952 as a version starring Olivia de Havilland and Richard Burton, which is actually not a very good film, but it is an earlier version. So does this make the new version of My Cousin Rachel a remake? And I was on Twitter just the other week, and somebody said, oh, tell us what the best remakes ever made are. And somebody very quickly flagged up Heat, the Michael Mann film, Heat, which is sort of a remake in as much as Michael Mann did a TV version of it called L.A. Takedown, which he then reworked into the feature film Heat. And it made me start thinking about, you know, when you have plays on in the theatre, every time Shakespeare is performed, you don't say it's a remake of Hamlet or a remake of Richard III, it's just the next production. And then I started to think, maybe the essence of a remake is that you're doing something that wasn't originally based on another source. But I thought, no, that's rubbish. If somebody made a version of The Exorcist now, I'd say it's a remake, not a version based on William Peter Blatty's original novel. And I really started to worry about this. So a question to you, please help me answer this. How do we define a remake? What exactly is a remake? People throw this around all the time. Remakes are terrible. Everywhere you look, it's remakes. Are there no new original ideas? It would help if we could arrive at a working definition of a remake, because I don't think My Life is a Courgette is a remake. I don't actually think Heat's a remake. What is a remake and why? So, where's your father? Here. It has my dad's trick on it, too. My mom always said that my dad liked tricks, so I put one on there. <laughs>